season on Maneater. Everyone's biting off more than they can chew. Oh, look at you. The depths will be discovered. The food chain will be disrupted. And the drama will get deadly. Because down here, things always evolve. And the hunter becomes the hunted. That's the one who took my hand, all right. Get yourself ready, boy. Maneater. Eat the people. The American alligator. exploitation. Crawfish Bay was befouled with abandoned carcasses left by the reckless quick buck hunters who had descended upon the area. The coast can be viewed broadly as a habitat overlap zone, where the world of diverse, sometimes dangerous creatures meets humanity in all its folly. features painted sails, a luxury five-star resort built over the remains of Tuna Macha. Yes, it's quite beautiful here. Unfortunately, bull sharks can't see color. The needle tooth nightmare, the Barracuda. As a result of industrial pollution and sewage wastewater, Dead Horse Lake was designated a Superfund site in 1996. As one can see, routine micro practices of risk management haven't really been effective in cleaning up this area. Prosperity Sands features glittering white beaches fenced off for the sole enjoyment of the ultra-rich, mega-rich, and super-rich. Beach erosion can be harmful for ecosystems by changing habitat conditions for such local fauna as seals, sea turtles, birds, and fish. Evolutionary anomaly, the hammerhead. Whoa. 
Golden Shores was built as vacation residences for wealthy out-of-towners, with spectacular ocean views, private beach access, and a gate to keep out the locals. Sapphire Bay has had several piers, three that were destroyed by hurricanes, and two that collapsed due to substandard construction and safety deficiencies. Lacking sufficient sand or protective dunes, heavily developed areas risk great danger from hurricanes and tropical storms. Fawtick Bayou is a muddy, mosquito-ridden wilderness teeming with a variety of wildlife, including the dangerous American alligator. The gulf is vast, 600,000 square surface miles to be exact, making it fifth among the world's seas. Even with all our greatest efforts, humans have only explored a tiny fraction of the ocean. The Sultan of Speed, the Mako. 